Hey everyone, welcome to the podcast on the BHP Network. Myself, Tim Mazzarana, Bob McGee, Dave Thomas, and Kevin Conlin. And today we are talking about the Total Archery Challenge fail and peeing while hunting. Let's get started. The BHP Podcast is presented by bowhunterplanet.com. Join the hunt. Support for this podcast is provided by Grind Life Coffee, Burris Optics, Skull Hooker, Scott Archery, and Cold Steel Knives. Hey everyone, this is Tim for Bowhunter Planet. Make sure you check out the new podcast, Respect the Game, wherever you find your podcast. Let's mount up! All right, here we are. So... I guess we'll start with the Totally Archer Challenge fail, um, and only because we can't start with the urination thing because Kevin is urinating as we speak. And he <laughs> yeah. But so we'll let, we'll let Bob take us into what happened with this totally ar- total archery challenge okay. major failure. What is it, and what? Yeah, happened? first start with what the show is, how it got to this major failure issue that you're speaking of, and and just go with it, Bob. Just go. With it. Total archery challenge. Um, it's basically an event that it was set up several years ago by a guy from Utah. And what he's done is he's taken certain areas. Uh, for a long time, it was just basically out west, and it comprised uh, San Antonio, Texas, uh, Colorado, uh, a couple other ones, uh, Terry Peak, South Dakota, Sunlight Mountain in Colorado, uh, Colorado, and Big Sky, Montana. And it took off out there like uh, wildfire. 3D people were looking for something that simulated actual outdoor scenarios as far as hunting. And within the last three or four years, it has moved to the eastern part of the states with Michigan having a resort area, uh, Boeing Mountain, and this will be the, I, I believe it's the fifth year for the event to be held at Boeing. Uh, starting a couple years ago, they started using a system similar to golf tee times. It's called an, a <laughs> knock time. Times. Yeah. That's hilarious. And what you do is they give you a certain date. This year, it was last Saturday, the event opened up at eleven or nine o'clock, excuse me, mountain time, which was eleven o'clock here in the morning. Eleven o'clock in the morning here, people got online. People got online throughout the country to go to the events, and the system within the first couple minutes crashed. They were using a third party for billing information and information for. So this was the sign up. For... This was the sign up for the event. Gotcha. Uh, when Boeing first started, you know, they had maybe 700 people. It's gotten to the point to where if you aren't registered the first day within the first 30 minutes of an event, you can almost guarantee that you're not going to be able to shoot the event. Because once the knock times are, are sold by first come, first serve, they're gone. This sounds like Russian hacking to me. Yeah, I don't know about Russian <laughs> hacking, but it, if you were following Facebook and some of the comments about it, I was lucky enough after 45 minutes, I got a knock time for the, the times that I wanted and stuff. But this third party organization that was doing all the computer work and stuff for it. So all, the, re- that all the retired party. guys that had unlimited time to sit oh, yeah. and wait it got totally their knock times. Totally screwed us up. The people that actually need to schedule for the time that they need because they don't have time during well, the Well, there, there's tons of people that <laughs> plan on these events every year that took time off of work, got sure. housing for families, team members, people that they shoot with. They couldn't get knock times. So Total Archery Challenge is catching a bunch of flack. And sure they ho- are. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they find some way of improving the registration method because there's a lot of unhappy people out there. Yeah, that's crazy. So yeah. wa- walk us through, like when you go there, walk us through one of these events. Uh, the one event that I'm familiar with is Boeing. They take Boeing Mountain up in Boeing, Michigan. Which is, which is a ski hill. It's a ski hill. It's a ski resort. A lot of these events are run at ski hills. Uh, 
what they do is they show up the week before the event opens. It, it's a three-day event. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday event. And what they'll do is they'll set up 3D targets and scenarios on the ski hill. Okay? At Boeing, you ride the chair up, you pick a course that you're going to shoot, and you usually walk most of the way down. There's sometimes... You've got to like downhill. Yeah, that's good. There, there's some of the course where you <laughs> there's some of the course where you traverse back uphill, but there there's three courses, and I've I've forgotten the names of them. It used to be Sitka Prime. Prime's a big sponsor of the event, and there was one other name, and it it doesn't come to memory right now. But your average shot, one of them's an easy course. You know, twenty to forty yards they call easy. The next one's forty to seventy yards, and then there's that's there, a big range, forty to seventy. There, there's actually the hard course, and that's forty yards out to a hundred. Wow! And you're you're shooting scenarios that would likely be out west, extreme uphill, extreme downhill on some. Of the I was uh, I was talking to somebody recently about it, and I, I don't know which one it was. I don't think it was Michigan, but probably somewhere else. Uh, but they had they had uh, one of the most challenging ones was they had a hundred yard shot mm. at a squirrel <laughs> 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 or or a gopher or like something of that size, and he was just nice. telling me about it. Cause it was so funny because they have the you know they they have really nice targets. Oh yeah, right? they're they're using all Reinhardt. Yeah, so really cool Reinhardt targets, and uh, this thing is pristine because nobody shot it. <laughs> You see arrows like, <laughs> in the trees and like everywhere around it, but there's there's, there's yeah, it's hilarious. It's hilarious because so. you'll get you'll get to a target like I say, seventy eighty yards, and it they'll set this target up to where you've got a shot maybe eight ten inches between trees and shrubs and bushes, and when you walk <laughs> up on this target after you shoot it, there's there's fifty hundred arrows stuck in in trees. <laughs> yeah. and, yeah. So how do, how does the scoring work? Because it's a competition, right? There's it's basic, awards and well, is it honor system? Yeah, it's an honor system, and it's basically a fun shoot. They do have a, a portion of the shoot set up to where you can win truck. I could win this thing. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin's alive over here. <laughs> Thought you yeah. died. You took off. <laughs> you know, he started. That was a, that was <laughs> a bit like, of maybe a we call the police or something. We missed you. Yeah. You can win a truck. I could have been there's all kinds of you guys prizes. Never came I looked over there. Kim, Kim was just turning laughy the whole time. I tried right? to get out. Dave wouldn't let me get out. I, I asked Griffin to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Griffin did ask me if I was. Hey, for those of you that might not have heard, I saw you uh, give him the nod. So I, I had to quickly mute. Um, Kevin's mic. He had, he had a those day. on YouTube saw, pretty, saw it happen in pretty slow crazy, motion. Pretty <laughs> crazy coughing. Thing. I've only been coughing for a month. He had to run. He's like, uh, anyway, I'm sorry. Go that, ahead. That's fine. So, score, so basically, this yeah, it's up. basically, you know, self governed. You score yourself. And that, that's the fun part of it is the shoot. Yeah. You know, and there the is camaraderie. A, and, the camaraderie. You meet a lot of cool people. They have. Prime's there. They've got, you know, different bow shops. They've got different manufacturers. They've got, last year they they had Leupold and Do they allow crossbow? No. Uh, well, wait. I, I can't say that absolutely uh, for sure. I can't say that absolutely for sure. Maybe you should start a crossbow one. Too. I was, um... Oh, you know, it's going to eventually, and, and I'm sorry, I'm going to go off on a little tangent here. Eventually, uh -oh, cut them now. if this industry does not change its attitude, you're going to have to. Um, and I, I say that because there, I, I've had some really rough conversations <laughs> talking to some people lately in the industry about how they don't believe that crossbow belongs in archery. When this happened, this happened at the bar. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't actually. It was, it was, it was. Oh, that's so yeah. Funny. So that, that, anyway, that, that's the exact exact grief that traditional longbow and recurve shooters used when compounds came into existence. Yeah, and I'm only going to say this. Everybody that tries to make that argument with me, I ask them this one question. Here we go. Here we go. Have you done it? Probably Answer? Not. It's not mainly enough. They'd no, say. probably not. So don't don't sit here and don't say, don't sit here and say back up now. You crossbows hear? aren't for archery. They should have their own season. They should be treated X, Y, and Z. If Make you've never room. done it. Point case mic drop. 
All right, next topic. Dang. <laughs> Sorry. That, I, that just hit me. It hit me Dang. the wrong way. I like the mic Sorry. drop part. That's you like awesome. that? <laughs> and just, uh, just a word to Total Archery. The uh, guys that are, are setting it up and running it. Find a better system than the system you had for this last let's registration. Let's have mine. So you can yell at them about it. <laughs> no, I'm not. I, honestly, I'm not opposed Why? to not having crossbow there. Um, it's not as quick. It's not as easy. you got to cock the bow. I get it. Like, I was just wondering. I get it for that well, type of like if you're gonna do it, it's got to be its own separate. Course, I'm a, I'm always whatever. amazed at these these archery clubs that have 3D shoots and they won't allow crossbows on them. Yeah, they say they use they use the analogy. Well, it tears up the target. True. Yeah. No. And I, I I I don't disagree with that though. I I do get. But they should have target <laughs> crossbow targets. Yeah. That's all. Agreed. It should be its own separate thing. I was just asking. It'll get there, out guys. Of curiosity. It'll get there. And then and then you press you when you said no that just. Hit a hit a hit a cord. Oh, we could tell. Yeah, sorry, I, I apologize. It You're, wasn't it wasn't that obvious. I need a hug. Urinating while hunting. Moving on. Um, Here we go. Piss on it. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'll try not to get pissed off during this conversation. Yes. <laughs> I, I can see this is going to. be... Don't look to- pissy at me. <laughs> I, I can see this is going to be a totally void conversation. Okay, Art. so <laughs> let's start with the easy one. Okay, so this is we're gonna go around the room. Well, let's not, uh, 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 uh. let's go around the room. Well, do you think, starting with Kevin, then Bob, then me, then you, and you, it's fine. Do you think urination while hunting hurts or helps you or doesn't matter while hunting? And and uh, and, no. and and yep, and yep, no, yep, this, yep, this yep, is yep, add on. Yep, this yep, is add on. Yep, yep. What do you do yep, 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 yep. when you have to go? Yep, 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 yep. Start on Kevin. Okay. <clears throat> so typically, I try not to urinate in the stand. Okay. Yep. And if I do, I usually carry a bottle with me that I can cap. Have you ever accidentally drank that bottle? <laughs> <laughs> not completely. <laughs> a little oh. soft. No, no, never made that. Soft. Never made that accident. A little soft. Um, but I will say this. I've been in a tree stand, and if I didn't have a bow with me, I had to go. Yeah, I've gone. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. And I <laughs> once saw on Michigan Outdoors, they did a thing where they actually, I don't know if this was like a regular study or anything, but they said the deer were attracted to it somehow. Okay. All right. Okay. That, Bob? I don't think it matters, to tell you the truth. Now, I've urinated out of tree stands. In a ground blind, I'll keep a bottle with me. Have you done it in your car? As far as pissing in the car? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to understand. Forget the catheter you have to wear now. But yes. <laughs> Probably at one point in my early life, I have probably you ever, did. Have you ever been driving and peed in a bottle, <laughs> thrown it out the window? Bottle? No, no, no. Good. I just, that's I just throw it out the window and go. <laughs> no, nice. no bottle needed. Okay, so back to hunting specifically. All right, so uh, you have no issue with it either way. No. Okay, I guess we kind of missed another question. We'll come back to that. This other question, we'll come back to that. But um, all right, so for me, I don't think it matters. I think um, uh, I've, I've I've peed lots of times in the stand. I've had deer come right under me, right around me. It's never seemed to matter either way. Now, I mean, I'll tell the Brian story, I guess, unless you were going to plan to tell that story. Um, so let me go you. first. And yeah, then yeah, you, yeah. You go, ahead, go ahead. So my answer is, I think it matters what you eat. Ooh, this is getting. I agree with you. Mean that. Like asparagus, and yes. depending on what you eat, that's what actually matters or not. I as agree with that. You pee. But asparagus are natural in the field too. Right, but that's I'm not I'm not the asparagus thing is not my point. My point is if you eat like a if you Orange eat like juice? a predator, let's say, right? You, you eat a ton of they're going to be able to smell and and I'm not a, I'm not a doctor, okay. But I'm going to assume that there's certain there's certain uh, elements uh, of uh, that food that are going to work mm, your work mm, its way into the urine, and the the, no way. the deer are going to be able to tell what type of diet. What kind of drugs and, you are? And and maybe I'm completely off base, and maybe that's not what my point is. My point is, <laughs> I, I think it does matter, like what you. I think I think what you statement. smell like, and maybe that's that's the point. It, ma- it matters what you what your urine, you. We're talking about urine specifically. What yeah, what you smell like. Okay. It could be different for you than Bob. Yeah, I than get me, that. I Kevin. get that. So, 
I would say. And I just let it go, by the way. I think that <laughs> I think that that's actually a very smart way to look at it, since you do have a bio background, bio degree. Um, but I would say, now I don't know how Brian produces his urine. But well, I think there's a lot of estrogen in it. <laughs> maybe, but he he definitely ate. <laughs> I love you, Brian. <laughs> he definitely he definitely ate lots of meats. We had deer chili and bear chili. I think we had lots of beef jerky, um, and he was eating all that stuff. And he peed, and this buck came in, nose blaring, and he shot it and killed it. So I I, I don't know, right? Like you said, though, it's true because I you don't know. Maybe his body didn't produce the odors of a predator because he has a lot of estrogen, or whatever. So maybe. <laughs> Do you, hold on. Do you know what estrogen is? i It's. I know it's a female thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I realize that. I'm just saying that maybe that's why I. Don't know, but I can tell you he peed the mist mist because it was windy and this deer <laughs> came in out of beeline as soon as We're he gonna, peed. Listen, I can't wait. And he to read swears the by it. Like he swears. He pees all over everything now. He gets up there, he's just all over the stand, the trees. He's just peeing it I everywhere. Can't, I can't wait to read the comments on this because this is gonna be so this well, is gonna be so what do you so, guys think? What did Ron say about you're it? You're a complete <laughs> idiot or you're 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 there's something to it. Would, you know would Ron I mean? would Ron let him hunt with him? What's Reswell? Ron say? I think did a complete one eighty on the pee thing. I think a, he a used long, to. A long time ago, he would never pee at the stand, not even really in a bottle. He would just hold it. But I think that he has then, you know, and then he realized it didn't change anything. And so I think at that point, he... 